We give students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics the chance to work with cutting edge solutions. When we say that the sky is the limit, we definitely mean it. Well, I had an opportunity to fly on the zero-G aircraft that NASA uses to train astronauts. That day was incredible. It was a great experience. It was breathtaking. This plane ride was something you would tell your grandkids about. My team designed a robot to help perform tasks in space to do repairs. To work, the robot had to roam, not float, meaning it had to actually be on the ground instead of naturally floating because it's zero-g. Troubleshooting the issues with the experiment on the plane was a great challenge because we only had 30-second intervals of zero gravity and I don't think I would have had this opportunity yet if I went to another university. Hey guys, that was great. But our project is a little bit more down to earth than that. Could you imagine you're running a bit late for an interview? Your car, you can tell your car to basically drop me off at the front of the building and go park yourself and then come get me in 10 minutes. That's the kind of research we're doing here at the FAMU CIS department. My name is Zakia Hoyt and I'm a PhD candidate in the School of the Environment working toward a doctorate in environmental sciences. Right now I am studying how drugs that come from our medicine cabinets and our laundry detergents and how these compounds end up in coastal based systems. Well, the results from my research will end up being shared with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration who actually fund my project. And it's very pertinent because they do not focus on these compounds in these particular areas. The School of the Environment has a global presence and we have placed students all over the world, including Nigeria, Mozambique, um, Jamaica, and more recently one of our graduates has been placed as the National Director of Research for the country of Mozambique. And our students who go on national and international competition generally win between first and second place. And so I am so proud of our students and the faculty that we have here that I think uh, you cannot duplicate this anywhere else unless you have the same group with you. There are a variety of activities that are taking place out here at Innovation Park, but specifically here at FAMU, we have the Center for Plasma Science and Technology. And our most recent addition, which is our showpiece, is the Spheromac Turbine Experiment, which is a half million dollar plasma reactor. And what it allows us to do in the physics department here is to actually conduct cutting edge plasma physics and fusion research that very few universities really get to undertake. We're going to provide the groundwork, the scientific groundwork, to really establish a new source of energy that we hope to see active in our lifetimes. And the benefits are we're not producing greenhouse gases, we don't have a great activity. This is a center housed uh, under the physics department at FAMU. We're actively involved in Department of Defense, National Science Foundation, Department of Energy Research, and we have a number of different research projects going on. They're all directed at trying to increase the STEM workforce in this country. So we invite you to come to FAMU and study physics. We'll give you a free ride if you're uh, prepared. Hopefully, if things go well, uh, you'll be almost guaranteed a high quality job when you graduate. My name is Jorge Martinez. I am a graduate student here at Florida A&M University, and I've had the opportunity to work on this uh, state-of-the-art laser system to develop a sensor for detection of improvised explosives. And I believe this is going to be an impact for those men and women that we have overseas that are in danger of improvised explosives. Our system's not ready for the field yet, but I'm excited that it can be in the future. My team and I are developing a security drone that is able to monitor buildings and recognize potential threats without the need of human interface. When we first started this, we had no experience in electrical engineering at all, 
now I feel confident in pursuing a career in robotics and artificial intelligence. At FAMU, the faculty and staff seek to help undergraduate students apply what they're learning in the classroom to real-world applications. By doing this, we believe that those students will be better enabled to graduate successfully in their field, um, go on to graduate school, become the successful engineers that we know that they're capable of being. I received both my bachelor's and master's from FAMU. I returned after my professor urged me to do so, so I could pursue my doctorate in mechanical engineering. And one day I hope to become a professor as well so that I can be a role model and help the students go through the trenches like I did. I'm pursuing my master's degree in the College of Agriculture and Food Sciences because of a very close friend of mine. She was also pursuing her master's degree in the same college when she and a professor came to Georgia to recruit me. I'm so glad I came. I received a graduate tuition waiver, the Homeland Security Scholarship, and an internship. I also was awarded a $10,000 federal grant to pursue my thesis research, which is involving the decline of honeybees. Honeybees feed the world. They're responsible for $15 billion worth of crop pollination in the United States. Here's the problem. They're under attack by the vampire mites and the small hive beetle. We're working on a commercial product that will wipe them out and save the honeybees. If you want to make an impact in the world of food supply and biosecurity, FAMU is where to start. My name is Felix Emisa, a PhD candidate in pharmaceutical sciences at Florida A&M University. I believe one day my research can stop cancer in its track. I like FAMU because they have great professors, they have good labs and equipment, and even though I'm an older student from Ghana, I don't feel very different from the mainstream students because of FAMU's motto, Excellence with Caring, and I'm really enjoying the excellence with caring. When I originally got to grad school, I knew it was going to be tough, and the person who's always been in my corner is my mother. She's always been my cheerleader for everything that I do in life. But she died of stomach cancer my second year in grad school, and once I lost her, things became a little bit tougher. I gained a family here at the School of the Environment at FAMU. I have many, many mothers now. I have more fathers than I can count, and I have so many brothers and sisters from that are my colleagues that I am definitely encouraged and cheered on. I received my undergraduate degree here in computer science at Florida A&M, and I got my master's and PhD at other schools, and I've been able to compare the differences between them. FAMU's faculty is definitely passionate and caring, and that can make the difference between you receiving your degree on time or not. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. I had no idea what to expect coming to the United States of America, or far less Florida a and University. Here at FAMU, I quickly learned the importance of camaraderie and the love that we have for each other is outstanding. The students here are exemplary, and it's awesome to be a part of this.